Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.5a in the great state of Texas. We're using item number 28 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it. Let's look at our answers together. So we have a model right here that is going to actually be very helpful for us when we are looking at solving this problem. So Timothy wants to buy a camera that costs $75. That's why we have this camera right here. And you see the 75 goes across the entire, so that's your total. The total cost is $75. So far he's got 23, so that's this part. And so we need to find an equation that could be used to find how much more money he needs to buy the camera. And so we see 75, and we see 23, we also see 52 uh, popping up. And so what we're looking at here is we've got a part, part, whole, or strip diagram, whatever you might want to use to, uh, to describe this. And let's look to see what we would need. We know that he needs $75. So that's the total. He's got 23, and he needs something else. And so this, the, we'll put a question mark because that's what they have right here. So this 23 plus this question mark, that makes your 75. So that's how I can turn that figure into a, an equation, a number sentence. But if you notice, we don't necessarily have that exact equation. So what we could do is we can use fact families. We know that with any addition sentence or subtraction sentence or multiplication or division, it's going to be a part of a larger fact family that always has four number sentences. So what we do is we take this right here. So this first switch right here, we just change the two addends, and that's called the commutative property. The commutative property is sometimes called the order property. That means you can take the order of the addends and flip it, and it doesn't matter. One plus two is the same as two plus one. Works for addition, works for multiplication as well. Now we know that we need two addition, so we need two subtraction. We know that our sum always goes in front. That's going to be our largest number. And then what we end up doing is we just end up subtracting uh, the two different add-ins here. And then our answer is going to be the other add-end. Let's see if we find something like that here. And so it looks like we've got this right here. H looks like that will work because it looks like we've done that right here. 75, actually no, it looks like this right here. 75 minus 23 is going to equal our blank. Well, let's just see what that is. What is 75 minus 23? So that's going to be 5 minus 3 is 2. So there's your 52. So that's where this 52 comes from right here. So they went ahead and did the work. And let's just double check to make sure that 50. 2 really works, 23 and 52. And that is going to make 75. So that's going to be our answer. Some of you might have noticed this right here. How much more can actually sometimes give you a clue that you need to subtract? A lot of times when we are subtracting, we will use that phrase, how much more, how many more. And so some of you might have looked at this and you might say, well, that's easy, 75 minus, and then you might have gone straight down here to 23, and then that's going to equal your unknown number, which happens to be 52. And if you did that immediately without this adding over here on the side, well, then you would have gotten the same correct answer. So let's look at these wrong answers. And so F is wrong. It's got 75. It wants to add 75 plus... The 52, the missing 52, and that's going to get you a huge number, 127, and that is not what you need. So when you're stuck, go ahead and just do these problems here. 75 plus 23, so we're going to add the two rather than subtract them, and you're going to get 98. Once again, much larger than we need. We know we need just 52. We know that this is correct. This is our 52. And then 52 minus 23, that's going to be at least smaller but it's going to be too small. That's going to be 4, and that's going to be 29, so that's not what we need. Our answer is H.